In this video tutorial, we are going to build a simple card designer. We will use the diagramming component for WPF and the node list view auxiliary control, which is part of the library. We will use SVG images that we can drag and drop, resize, and rotate so we can design the perfect card for a given occasion. Our simple application would also support adding text to your cards, of course. So. We start with an empty WPF project. We choose .NET 6 support. We will add the diagram library through NuGet. We search for Mind Fusion and we find the diagram library for WPF. Let's add it. Now we can add a namespace mapping to the diagramming library in our XAML file. The UI design of the application is very simple. The grid layout panel will do just fine. We need one narrow row to hold the image button to export the finished card. We also need one column with a fixed width to hold the node list view control. All remaining space will be taken by the diagram control. Let's open the online help and find some code how to initialize the diagram and add it to our project. We have already installed it with NuGet. Let's copy the code here that shows us how to create the diagram inside a scroll viewer. That's a good idea since the diagram might get large. Before we continue, let's run the sample to make sure everything is alright. Let's give our program some background so we can see where the control is. Yes, here is the diagram. Everything looks fine. We will add now the node list view control. It is part of the diagramming namespace. We need to give it a name because we will use it in code behind. We want the node list view to take the whole space to the left, from top to bottom, which means it has to span for two rows. Let's create a new folder called Resources and place there the SVG files that we want to use when designing cards. We have also added an image for the export button. The SVG files are ornaments, frames, and dividers. We open the code behind file for our application and there we will list the names of all our SVG files in an array. Then, we need to create an SVG node for each file from the array. We will look into the documentation once again. Here is sample code how to create an SVG node. Let's copy it.
First, we create the node with an empty constructor. Then we need to be careful about the path to the file. The applications starts from a directory nested one, two, three directories inside the main project directory where the resources folder is. Finally, we need to add the newly created node to the node list view. And here are our nodes. Nice that they show. It will be nice to move the diagram to the left, next to the node list. The node list can be a bit wider to accommodate the nodes. As you see, we cannot actually drop nodes on the diagram. That's because drop is not enabled. Let's turn it on. Certainly, we would like the nodes transparent, so we set the transparent property to true. So far, so good. We can design now lovely cards for any occasion we want. We miss text inside the cards though. Let's create a special note for text. The text is represented by a standard shape node, which we make transparent. We set to it a sample string, so something shows when it's dropped. The text should be aligned in the center, and we pick a fancy font to match the rest of the design. The font size is large. Our text node is here, and looks lovely, but we cannot edit it. There's a property, it is of the diagram, which specifies that users are allowed to edit the text of nodes. It is called allow in place edit, and we will set it to true. Now we can edit the text of the text node. What's more, we can edit the text inside each node. So, we can set the same font and text alignment to the SVG nodes, and you can type in text in them as well. However, the text of a node can only be aligned in three different ways, while a special text node can be dragged anywhere you choose. Anyway, let's check if we can center the text also vertically inside the node so users have this way of setting text as an option as well. Yes, there is vertical alignment. Okay, so, what we are left to do now is add a button that will export the beautiful diagrams that we create. 
We can choose among various exporters, but this type of content is more for PDF or image. Let's create images. For the button, we will use an image we have ready at hand. It is 39 by 50, and we will create the button the same size. The button stays at the top, next to the node list view. It is transparent, and its content is the image. It's important to set the build action of the image file to be resource, so we can see it at runtime as well. Now, we need an event handler. There we will export the diagram. Let's see if we can find some sample code how this is done. Perfect. Let's copy the inside of this method, which does exactly what we want to do as well. Let's say our file will be called greeting card. We also need to clear the selection to make sure no node handlers are visible at the exported image. And here is our PNG image. Congratulations! We've just created a simple application for designing cards that uses SVG images. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and thank you for your interest in Mind Fusion Developer Tools.